The former president spoke frankly on the much-talked-about visit to South Africa by President Omar al-Bashir. This is after the country was criticized for failing to arrest President al-Bashir, even though the ICC had issued a warrant for his arrest. Where you have uh, the population of Sudan saying, we need this man in order to end the wars that are going on, and then you say somebody else comes and say, I need to arrest that person. Uh, so this thing needs to be discussed between the African continent and the, and the International Criminal Court so that if it's necessary to amend whatever is in the Rome Statute, it's necessary to do that. He also called on for peace in war-torn South Sudan. The problem that arose in South Sudan, in South Sudan was really basically a fight for leadership positions. Uh, unfortunately, uh, in, the, in, the, in the South Sudan case, which then got defined in tribal terms. Mbegi also took time to comment on Archbishop Desmond Tutu's readmission to hospital for the third time in the last few months. When we saw the Archbishop, I'd spoken to him before that when we saw him, he, he reassured us that uh, the, this was not a serious uh, condition. But, you know, he's, an, uh, he's grown up. And, uh, and therefore has particular problems, but nothing, nothing really to worry about. I think he should get out of hospital as quickly as he can, but I think for us as South Africans, I don't think we should, we should really worry because it's not, uh, it's not uh, a, a critical condition at all. The Archbishop is expected to be discharged from hospital in two weeks' time. Sophie McQueen, SABC News, Johannesburg. Well, meanwhile, former U.S. President and Nobel Peace Prize laureate Jimmy Carter says that he has cancerous tumors on the brain and has begun radiation treatment. The 90-year-old elder said the findings of the four melanoma spots stemmed from a procedure in which a tumor was removed from his liver. Uh, United